What's going on everybody? Keith here, Two Guys How To. June's up there and we're using the rollback today as a big stool and we're working on a Ford. This is a 2003 Ford F350 7.3 turbo diesel and they're, it's, they're the high pressure lines that go from the oil, uh, oil pressure pump up at the top to each side of the valve covers. And uh, here's what they look like. You got a left and a right. You can get them on eBay for super cheap, but I got these at the dealer because I'm not sure the quality of uh, of eBay stuff. So uh, and it's a, it's a YC. So a, a Y is in yellow, C is in cat, three Z is in zebra, dash nine J is in Jake, three two three dash E is in Edward. And that's one side, and the other side is guaranteed uh, motorcraft as well. And it's the YC3, Z as in zebra, dash nine, J as in Jake, three, two, three, F. So you got a dash F and a dash E. If the dealer needs to look those up and they're brand new, they come with the wire loom on them over top. And they're a press fitting type. And what we had yesterday was this truck, I was going down the road, I noticed uh, some smoke, thought I had a flat tire pulled over and it was just dumping oil out. So what I did is I put, uh, I had three quarts in the back, uh, luckily, I don't even know how I had them back there. I poured that in there, got the truck off the main highway, got it to the exit ramp. Uh, didn't give it very much gas. The more gas you give it, the more they squirt out. So I limped it to a parking lot, called Advanced Auto. Those guys came and uh, brought me a bunch of quarts because I was going to just limp it home. And I actually just paid the guy to give me a ride back to the shop where uh, we grabbed the rollback. And June and I went and scooped it up. So today we're just gonna, uh, what we did is I pressure washed everything last night. I blew dry it with um, uh, a leaf blower. And today after it's dry, we started up the truck and you noticed the high pressure lines in the back, back there, one of them's leaking. Yeah, they're rubbing each other right there. Right and in you the middle. can see, right in the middle they're, they're rubbing each other. So they rubbed through. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna try to stop that. We're gonna make sure they're zip tied. It's probably this one. Some rubber in between them. But if you're looking at the truck, you've got your uh, your little sensor there. The turbo's way in the back, and you've got these uh, the cold air intake basically coming from your intercooler, and it looks kind of like an X. And they're just right down in there. And there's one. You want to point to this one here, June. There's one oil cooler line. They go right down in that rocker cover. I don't know if you can see it there. And it injects it right down in there, and it actually gives pressure to your uh, fuel. Uh, fuel injectors injector as well, and there's another one. I want to point to that one. You can see it. Right there, I got this contraption. On. Yeah. So, uh, and what they are is they're they're not a, a bolt. They're kind of like a, a, a push down, like like an air gun, like when you do a quick connect on the air gun. So we've got this tool here. We're gonna see if it works. It's for getting uh, trim or uh, on your your car door panel. You push this in, and this pops those old style. Uh, window cranks out so right in, in between here it's about seven sixteenths wide and uh, we can show them on one of these other 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 lines and it kind of just goes right down in there and pushes that quick connect down and the line pulls right out so uh, let's go ahead and pop one of them off we're not gonna be able to use this on the oil side Figure something else out on that. Okay. So June's saying on the on the rocker cover side you can use that tool. On uh, the oil side, we might have to cut our own wrench that's super thin, and right around 7/16. So we went ahead and slid that up over top of it. And you push it down, it actually pushes that black foot connect down on its own. Feel like it's working? Yep, got one. Yeah, so it popped it right off, and we'll show you how this works. Pretty much just do this. You see it right there. Go in between that. You're going to push this forward. You know, it's yep. right there. That thing just slides up and down like a quick uh, release on an air coupler or an air gun or something. And then it's, you know, pretty firm tug and a little wiggle. And it should right pop out. out. So that's one. It's out already. And we could do this, this rocker cover side here. I can get this wire out of the way. Can you get that tool in there? Probably not, huh? No. Yeah, so let's, uh, we're gonna make some other kind of tool, use two screwdrivers, and see what we can do to get the rest yeah. of it. And then June's putting a zip tie around that one line. You need a longer one or you're okay? 
I was just trying to get it around there. Yeah, he's gonna Ooh. put the zip tie around there so I can keep tension and pull up here while he pushes down. Okay, so we got a zip tie around the one line so I can keep tension and Gene's gonna push down on the quick release coupler there. It's hard to see. Gotta wiggle it. Be yeah. patient. Takes a little bit of force. They're, they're on there pretty good. You've been on here, what? Who knows how long? There's so many wires. Boy. So this is the left one with the crook here. The other one goes straight in, I believe. And you can see the two hookups right down there into the oil pump that's just buried under there. And June's saying those are gonna be even more complex. We're gonna pull these wires out of the way first. At least these, when he pushes down, I can pull out and kind of wiggle this thing a little bit. There we go, and you can see it. Okay. Let's show him how this one works, actually. Let's fish that one out. Let's show him how that thing works right there. You Pretty can much, see he's just pushing it out. He's pushing that, and this is pushing down into the quick release that's on the oil pump just pops right up out of there. There's an O-ring in there that's leaking or something. So we got one. That's the left side there. Yeah. You can see these old ones are braided. Yeah, and it's got a cut right here. It's all frayed. It might be where it was leaking. Cause no. They were rubbing together right here. Oh, wait. Probably this one. That one. And there's a hole right there you can see on that one. So uh, we just got to make sure we put them back in the right way. This, this one's a straight straight connection here that goes to the driver's side and the two crook sides goes to the passenger side rocker. So uh, pop that one off. Yeah, let's just pop this one off too. And June's pressing those down. I went and got this crooked ice pick here. Dennis told let's see if I can get up underneath of it right there. It's hard to see. And I'm just gonna pull off. You ready? Yep, try it. I did, I'm gonna show them what we did here. Let's bring that thing on up out of here. Fish it up out of here. It's tricky to do with the screwdriver. Yeah, you really, it's better to make a tool. You can grind down a, uh, uh, a scraper or something. See, I went up under there like that. As he was pulling on it, I you and pushed those, push that quick release down and I pulled up and I wiggled it and came out. So that, that worked definitely good. And you can see the oil pumps right down there. It's hard to see right here where we are in the shade. So one line's gonna go over to that rocker cover. The other line's gonna go right down to this rocker cover right there. And this thing will be back up and operational. So we're gonna get the, the lines out real quick out of the packages. Lube up the ends with some of this. Uh, I got some 1540 oil. Lube, lube up those O-rings and press these back on and uh, fire the truck up, check for leaks. Back. Okay, so we've got these out of the package. You can see they come with the wire loom over top of them and they're not braided anymore. They're like a brown. 
and they've got some different uh, heat shrink on the ends and the tops are capped off there. So uh, let's take this little cap off so we can show them how everything looks. And you can just see this quick release right here. It just goes, it's just an O-ring seal. That's it. So you can just push that down and inside there. It's metal in there. Yeah, it's metal. It's a metal sleeve right down inside there. And it pushed that coupling down on the oil cooler and on the fittings that are on the two rocker covers. And with a little bit of force and wiggling, gentle wiggle, they came up out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and grease these ends here with a little bit of motor oil and make sure it's clean down there. And just push these things right back on the same way. And uh, they can only go on one way. The one straight one here goes to the driver's side rocker. This curved part goes to the oil pump. Yep, just like that, how he's holding it. And then this one here with the two cro cro uh, crooks in it, the 290s, goes to the passenger side, goes from the oil pump to the passenger side rocker. So uh, we're going to take them out. Let's give June a little bit of oil. I'll do this one first, since it's the furthest one back. And he's going to put a little dab on his finger. A little bit of oil on those plush, on the, those rubber seals there. And we're gonna do the same thing the other one, and then let's get this thing installed on there. We'll push them on. All right, so we fed the one line down underneath the electrical connections there. To, it looks like to the fuel bowl. You want to make sure it goes back in the way you took it out. So, uh, James lining it up. See if we can just put a little pressure on it to pop them back in. Kind of fish. Oh, you're doing the driver's side first there. Okay. That's how it was. Yep. The straight one went right into the driver's side. Yep. It goes straight in. The crook side goes to the oil pump, and the straight, the straight end of that goes right into that rocker cover. Shoots it straight in there. Crazy how they tend to seal like that. Yeah, I know they just snap in and seal. I didn't think that either. I thought it screwed in, but you heard it click. That was a nice one there. And that oil he put on there helps to go in, although the, the the holes are oily from it, you know, from disconnecting everything. So uh, we're gonna look at it. We're gonna see when those come out, how they don't rub. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to go back underneath that other electrical line as well on that one too. June. So yeah, it might, yeah, it might. You have enough slack there. Better over. Make sure you got on these, you guys, when, it, uh, when you're doing it, you got the crooked end, the right crooked end, the one that's gonna line up with that oil pump, and then the other one goes straight down into the rocker cover. So uh, if not, you snap it back on, or off and put it back on, but you wanna make sure you line it up right. They're both 90s, they're just offset a little bit. And it's, it's just a whole whole rat's nest of wires and that we pulled all the vacuum lines off. There's a bunch that went here and to the air filter here and back to the turbo. So we took that off. We bought all new ones. They come in a complete set. Back, the, back past the relay. Did it snap in? It felt good? It, it, I pulled back on it. Okay, there. so we're good. So the, only the two lines, they touch right there, but with this wire loom, I, I mean, you can't really get any better than that. All you can I mean, do is double loom it, triple got, loom it. They got the wire loom, then they got that brown yeah. rubber over top of it. Yeah, so I think they made these are a better, way better 
different line than what's there. And that's that's the finished product right there. That's where they were leaking though. They were leaking right there. Yeah, right where they touch. And we got this one. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the vacuum lines while we're here. And this is a, uh, a Ford part number. It's a F8, so a Frank 81 Zebra dash nine, E as in Edward, 498 dash D as in David, A as in Apple. And you can see they're red and green and they're uh, taped together right here, but let's break these out of this package. And they're gonna go right to this sensor here. They connect down there. Another one goes to the air filter housing, or intake boot right there before the turbo. And the other one goes on that turbo pressure switch. It's back in the back, or it's an emissions actually, uh, unit for the, for the turbo. And if you try to make these boots work up at Advanced Auto or something like that, they're all different sizes, so I mean you can you can make it work, but we didn't. This is taped together. You don't. You can take that off. And uh, we're just gonna plug those things back where they go. One went right here, right June. Yep. Right this to the double. This guy. This one. And it's a 90, and they're brand new because uh, what happens is you're gonna get vacuum leaks. The vehicle is gonna run better and for 35 bucks. You're not, you, close, yeah. Yeah, you're not make makeshifting anything. It's factory, this thing will run. It'll run better than it did. So you got your red and your green, and he's gonna feed that red one all the way back to that emissions unit on that turbo. It comes off the side of the turbo. And it's just a 90 degree boot back up in there as well. It's actually a little clamp there to put the line in. Okay. It wasn't in there before. So in that in that intake boot coming off your air filter to the side of the turbo, there's a little a little notch right there where it holds that vacuum line in place. And the other green one just feeds right into the side of the uh, intake to the turbo from the air filter. Boom. And we're in. Brand new. Everything's brand new. It's good to go. It looks sweet. 35 bucks. All right, so lines are on. Let's go ahead and start this thing. And it's gonna take a second for those pressure lines to juice up. And there's a check engine light on. It knows that we're in there. But uh, that should go out once I run it up the road or I can reset it. So June's up here, check for some leaks. No leaks, we're good. So there's June, I'm here, we're sweaty, we've been outside. We got more stuff I'm sure we're gonna go and get into, we always do. So uh, fix it yourself, save that money, change those lines, don't take it to the dealer, limp it home, tow it home, or fix them right there on the side of the road. You can do it, do it yourself, save that money. Keith, June, two guys how to, we're out. Check out the other videos, peace. What's up, Iggy? Talk to him before I shut the video down. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're not a pig, you're a lawyer. He's not a pig, he's a lawyer. Peace. I'm not a pig, I'm a lawyer.